everybody! Welcome to our latest edition of Science Bites. I am Miss Nicole with Bloomfield Public Library and today we are going to do a little demonstration that I like to call iron for breakfast. Or I could have actually called it nails for breakfast. Just like this nail here. We are going to be able to show that the same iron that is in this nail is actually added to some of your breakfast cereals. As scientists, we like to ask questions, so I have a question for you. What does your breakfast cereal have in common with the Earth's crust? And the answer is that they actually share a lot of the same minerals, one of which is iron. Iron is actually very important for our human bodies, but it is not something that our bodies can produce naturally on their own. So we have to look for different sources to bring that iron into our bodies. One of the ways we can bring iron in is just by some of the foods that we eat. Um, iron can be found in lots of meats, especially red meats. It can be found in produce like spinach or raisins, and it can also be found in some nuts. However, there's another way that we can get iron. Manufacturers have actually found that they can artificially add vitamins and minerals to some of the foods that we eat. You know, one case of that is breakfast cereal. There are also a lot of examples of different foods or beverages that they add vitamins and minerals to. When you see a phrase like fortified, like this milk is fortified with vitamin D, or this cereal is fortified with 10 essential vitamins and minerals, that, e that means that somebody has artificially added those components to what we're eating. Today, we are going to look at a cereal that is really good at adding vitamins and minerals to its product, and that is Total Breakfast Cereal. It actually works the best for this experiment, although there are lots of other examples and you can test them out later. Our demonstration today is very simple. It's probably one of the simplest ones we've done so far. There aren't a lot of steps to it, but there is some um, time. You have to give it enough time to give us the results we want. In the bags that I provided for all of you at both of our locations, um, there's just really a few items that are in this bag because there aren't a lot of components to this particular demonstration. So in the bags, everyone will get a half cup of total breakfast cereal. And it's already in a zip-topped sandwich baggie. All right, so we have a half cup of total breakfast cereal. We also have a little container with some magnets and each person is going to get three of these donut shaped magnets. And the reason I'm giving you three is because they're stronger together as three magnets and we wanna get as strong a magnetic pull as possible. Now, if for some reason you separate the magnets and you find they just won't go together, all you need to do is flip and the magnet will cling to the other magnets. And you can watch my video on magnets if you wanna learn a bit more about magnetic poles and why that happens. But just know that you want all three magnets to stick together because they're gonna be stronger together. The first thing we need to do today is to add water to the baggie of cereal that I gave everybody. And you can see up in the top corner, I can show you that when I did it, I literally just went to my faucet and held it under the open faucet. You only need to fill up the baggie about halfway to three quarters full of water. You don't need to have it go all the way to the top. And once you get that water in there, you're gonna seal it. And you should end up with something that looks like this. And now is the hard part. Now we have to wait for one to two hours while and let that cereal break down in the water. We want it to almost be like a, a sludgy sort of mix. And after a couple of hours, you should have something that looks like this. And we can compare, this was the before and this is the after. That's exactly what we're looking for. We wanna give that cereal a chance to break down so that it makes it all the more easier for us to pull the little iron shavings out of the cereal. And yes, you will actually see iron shavings. And that's why we have our magnets. The one solid truth about magnets is that they are attracted to iron. And that's what's gonna help us collect the little itty bits of iron that are in the cereal. Now you're not going to see 
enough iron to make up a nail. You're not going to see a whole teaspoon or tablespoon of iron. There's going to be just a little bit um, because any more than that wouldn't be safe for us to, um, to eat or to ingest as human beings. So when manufacturers add iron to the cereal, it's in little tiny bits. And I actually have something where I can show you an example of where we have some tiny iron shavings. I actually have an hourglass that has some iron shavings in the bottom. So it's hard to see. They're like grains of sand almost in this hourglass. But that's kind of what we're looking for, very tiny iron shavings. So now we've waited a couple hours and it's time to use our magnet to pull that iron out of our cereal sludge. And let me show you exactly how we are going to do that. Now it's not a bad idea to have some napkins around because as you start playing with your bag, you might get some tiny leaks around the corners of where you've done the, the zip seal at the top. So just to be safe, have some napkins around. And I've got my three magnets and my baggie of cereal sludge. So what I'm going to do is start off, I'm going to put it in my hand, and start off by having my magnet on the top. Now you'll notice that there's a pocket of air at the top because there's no way for us to completely get the air out of the baggie just because of how we were sealing the liquid in it. But what we can do is with your hand over on the top of the magnet, hold it to the bag and flip over. And then sort of swirl it around in your hand. You wanna give that, that magnet a chance to connect with some of the iron. Just like that, nice and gently. You don't need to swirl it super hard. And now we will flip it back around the other way and look underneath our magnet to see if we have pulled out, oops, pulled out some iron. And you can, I'm gonna zoom in and there you can see, and I'll use my pencil too, just to make sure you see it right here is our iron. You'll see it as dark little blobs and now if you use your magnet you'll actually be able to move those dark little blobs around. That and here I'll even circle it with my marker just to make sure everybody sees it. That is the iron that was inside our cereal flakes, inside the total cereal flakes. Now this would be a fun project for a science fair too. You could actually try this experiment out with lots of different cereals. Maybe you wanna compare corn flakes to total cereal or try your frosted flakes. Um, any cereal that you can break down in a baggie um, with some water, you could test for this to see how much iron they might have added. Now you do wanna look for cereals that say they have a lot of natural vitamins and minerals. And total is great because if you look on the label, they say they've got 100% of just about everything. So they're definitely working really hard to add and to fortify their cereal with vitamins and minerals. So when you're picking the cereals that you also want to test out, try anything you've got in the cabinet, but also make a point of really looking for ones that are fortifying with the vitamins and minerals. Um, the healthier, the better. That's probably your rule of thumb. Anything, Frosted Flakes probably aren't going to give you the best result, but if you did something like Raisin Bran, you might get some good results. So I hope you, you use this demonstration and play around with some different cereals at home. It really makes you think about what's in the foods we are eating. That's all I have for today. Like I said, it was a very simple demonstration, but sometimes the simplest demonstrations teach us the most interesting things. And this is something that most adults don't even know. A lot of us don't think a lot about what we put into our bodies and what we're eating. And it's not that those little shavings are bad for us. Getting iron into our bodies is a good thing, but it's important that we know what we are putting into our bodies, don't you think? So until our next Science Bites, I hope you have a lot of fun with this demonstration and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.